My name is Bishop Kenya Michael Otome. Kenya Republic or United States of Kenya Republic letter. Presidential aspirant 2022. Today is actually the first day of the week. We call it Sunday because it was tampered by Catholic priests, one of the monks. I've changed the Sabbath, which was supposed to be actually Saturday, the day of worship and the day of rest as far as God is concerned, to make it today a Sunday or Sun and Day, the day of Baal. But anyway, uh, God is going to honor us as we also know that uh, that was uh, an error by human beings. Today, <clears throat> I would like us to know uh, good government and bad government. And I'm going to read uh, Proverbs 29, verse 2. Proverbs 29, verse 2 states, uh, When the righteous thrive, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, the people groan. In the book of Proverbs, uh, in this Bible, which is New International Version, it talks about two types of government. Good government, whereby if uh, righteous people are the one who are rulers or president or kings, then there will be blessings in that nation. But when the wicked, but when the wicked are the one who are ruling, uh, people groan or lament, cry because of problems. So, today, even in the Kenya Republic, we are seeing so many people groaning from all 47 federal states, as far as our constitution is concerned, 2010, which has also 290 constituencies uh, with the MPs, uh, members of parliament, that is, senators, and uh, also, you know, uh, women representative, uh, national uh, parliament, uh, women, national parliament, and also senate, parliament, and 1,450 also world representatives. People are crying in Kenya now, nowadays. Reason? No doubt then, our leaders are not fearing God. That is what the Bible says. Yes. That's what the Bible says. When people are ruled by people who are not God fearing, we end up groaning. And that's why I found what will myself, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome, I have taught what will to fire for the presidency of United States of Kenya Republic, put seven federal state letters, and uh, which I'm going to reduce them to 20 federal state, I'm going to consolidate it so that we shall have a very strong government with the ministers, assistant ministers, administrators who are strong and God-fearing politicians. I believe Kenya this time now we are not going to make a mistake. Those are, we call them registered voters. To elect the people who are not God-fearing because we are going to groan at, or to cry. Since this government of Jubilee, because I'm also a Jubilee, a presidential spirit, but we call it the Jubilee Reformation Movement. Uh, since this government actually was elected 2013 to this time, 2017 again, and uh, now it's continuing, this 2022, we have never seen our leaders, the president, the governors, the uh, senators, members of parliament, women representatives, World representatives, these people are not appearing in the villages levels to tell us what is going on. Every now and then we know for sure our year normally starts in July, uh, June 1st yearly to July 30th yearly. That is our national budget whereby the money are being, uh, you know, given out to all these for seven federal states, uh, you know, 290 constituencies and uh, 1,450 words assemblies. We have never seen this money. I am speaking here at Mpakasi village, Nairobi. We have never seen anyone who is telling us what is happening with our revenue collections. 
from all these four, six elected members, among also nominated ones. Because this government is just uh, made of politicians. They are the ones who are taking all money we have. They are just making money for themselves. These lawmakers are just, you know, making money for themselves and for their families. And the little who are supposed to be given for, you know, other development, like education and, uh, you know, uh, uh, water and development uh, and also other development like sanitation, sanitations, clean environments, eh? agriculture, security. They are not even paying them. Even our Kenya police are not paid well. Even the Kenya Defense Forces, uh, Army Forces, they are not paid well. Eh? These people are just working for almost nothing. Our doctors likewise. That's why they are striking. So these people, lawmakers of uh, Kenya, 12 parliaments, are just there, uh, we call them gluttonous and greedy leaders, which in none of them uh, will be uh, re-elected, I believe, strongly. Except the Mugai Kenyatta, which I'm going to have, is actually the Uru Mugai Kenyatta to be my prime minister. Why? Simply because he knows uh, Kenya more than I do myself. I'm a new person. And I know he will also, he will tell me some things, maybe one or two or three or more. Uh, as we go on. So I'm going to appoint him, like the way His Excellency also, uh, Mike Baki, the third president, elected, uh, you know, His Excellency Raila Omola Odinka to be his prime minister for 10 years, without referendum. So let's not be cheated by what is going on now called BBI, BBI. You know BBI means, like, it's like in Swahili, I am a woman, BB, BB is in Swahili, is a woman, and I, I in English, I, Mimi. At G Manamuke Nyanani, people even the Zeklan Rail of Molo Nigga is going with with some papers called uh, giving some, you know, young kids to carry some papers with sign, sign and with some women who are, you know, uh who have uh, lose the way. A uh, wayward women. Carrying those and uh, these forms are nothing. Uh, there's no need of uh, wasting these small resources which uh, we don't even have them for referendums and all this kind of stuff, like party primaries, as they used to call it, elections before that. Party primary elections, referendum elections, uh, you know, ele normal elections. And all this time, people, all, whenever these things are happening, people are killed all over, uh, for seven federal states. Youths are killing each other, and even adults. And they, are loot, they also used to loot do uh, do shops, supermarkets, because of lack of resources. People will kill each other, you know, for reasons of that nature. And we want to have such kind of a scenario. We want, uh, you know, His Excellency Uru Megai Kenya to leave his legacy in peace and love and unity and continue being the Prime Minister in my government. I've omitted a government which has ministers and assistant ministers, about 22 of them. And they will be also members of parliament, both assistant ministers and also assistant uh, uh, ministers and also assistant ministers. They will be in parliament to represent the government uh, policies. And I want to reduce even the MPs to be about, uh, you know, 800. Uh, no, it is to get 20, uh, two, uh, 20 governors and MPs about 200. 200 MPs, members of parliament. That means we are going to have a constituency about 200 uh, from 290. And uh, we are going to have also ward representatives from uh, 1,450 to 800. And uh, also governors, 20 governors rather than 47. Women representatives will not have them. Senators will not have them. We shall have one consolidated Kenyan national parliament, like Moi government. We cannot have two upper uh, parliament, the Senate, and uh, you know, these people are just making money and taking all our resources. So we are going to have 20 consolidated uh, federal states uh, and then 200 constituencies from 290 and then one, uh, 800 wards assemblies across the country from 1,450. So uh, I'm sure the next government will not, will, not, will not give a chance for the lawmakers to loot our resources to make, you know, money for themselves, you know, cars, rent, uh, grants, uh, sitting allowances, uh, you know, mileages, uh, benchmarking, going to US, Britain, all of Africa, continent, other Asia, continent, uh, United, uh, uh, American continent there, 
you know, Europe, we don't want these people to keep on wasting lawmakers to keep on wasting money. So the next government, uh, if Kenyan will make them to, to make their minds and choose me to be the elected president, I'm sure that we will enjoy uh, the government which is coming about. So we don't want a senseless government. Like what, uh, what, what, what actually the Bible says also. Senseless. We have also senseless governments uh, in the Bible. Uh, the ones which are, which are not sensible at all, at all, at all, at all. They are just disgusting government. Like if you read 2 Kings 21.11. 2 uh, Kings 21.11. You will get a disgusting, um, you know, government. A very useless kind of government. Which are, are just there to, you know, to harm people rather than helping them. We don't want that kind of a scenario whereby we will have a senseless government which will not take care of uh, the, the people and uh, people will suffer and uh, the government is our parents, obvious, normal. It is supposed to be our parents. The government is our parents according to the Bible. So any government which is going to take care of its citizen is not a legitimate government. It is an illegitimate government. It's not a legitimate government. It is a legitimate government. Illegitimate government. Not supposed to be there. The one which is legitimate is a government which is actually taking its citizens like, uh, you know, uh, as a parent. So Ezra 726 speaks about senseless government, which, are, which are, we don't like it, such kind of a government. And sometimes we are also commanded to resist it. Huh? Deuteronomy, senseless government. In, the, uh, in Deuteronomy 32 to 28, there are senseless nations on us. We have also immorality in politics, governments, like Kenya now. If you read 2 Samuel 3, chapter 3, 6 to 11, you will get it. So I am sure we want good leadership, like King David, good leadership. Read First Chronicles 18:14. My government will be God-oriented government, like a King David government. A good leadership, whereby you know the leader loves people, regardless of their tribe, their race, their color, their religion, their sex, and people with the disabilities also will be you know considered and uh, given all posts in the government. You know. Uh, so uh, uh, my government will look like King David in the Bible, good leadership. Read First Chronicles 18:14, and may God bless you. And the uh, next, uh, next, uh, uh, you know, election 2022, consider me, because I am the only one now in Jubilee, and the deputy president has left it for me. And I am sure all opposition leaders from Zanzibar, Uru, Raila, Molo, Dinka. Um, David is excellency also, and also excellency Kalosom Jonga, the son of, uh, you know, uh, Moi, Gideon. They will not face me, I'm sure. They will not. So I will be an opposed, obviously, because I know Kenyans are not mad. They are very wise this time. God bless you.